What's up guys, welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, welcome, join the family, get down there, hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content. I think you guys know where this video is going. Today, we are going to be installing a catch can on the Jeep Grand Cherokee right here. So if you guys remember, I had to do the oil pressure sensor on this thing uh, a couple months back and we had to take both the upper and the bottom part of the intake plenum right here because the oil pressure sensor sits like basically right down in here. And I don't know if you guys watched the video, but I will link it up in the corner right now. But basically when we took the intake off, there was so much gunk in all the runners, the intake runners that it was just nasty and i cleaned it up not expecting to get like a big change but it was literally night and day difference like i'm not even exaggerating it was so much more responsive on the throttle like you would just step on it and it would just go before that it would you would step on it and it would lag a little bit and then it would go like it was lazy basically but after i cleaned that out it made such a huge difference that i was like holy crap i need to get a catch can for this thing so that it catches all the oil and it doesn't recirculate it back into the system so that it doesn't you know build up all that gunk in there again so mishimoto which is a sponsor of ours has these cool little compact catch cans and they like doing collabs and they recently did a collab not too recently but they did a collab with rockstar energy and they did a catch can and you guys know i had to get one so these things are very simple they have two ports one in one out and basically from the pcv hose you route it into the catch can and then out from here to where that hose was gonna go. And in our case, I'm pretty sure it's the air filter box. That's why this is gonna come into play. It's gonna come out of the valve cover into this. This is gonna catch all the oil and just send straight clean air back into the system. And basically all I'm gonna have to do is, it has a port right there to drain it. I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna basically mount it. And then every time I do an oil change, I just have to remember to unscrew this and dump it out and then put it back on and we're good to go to another, I do it every 5,000 miles, but whatever intervals you guys do it at. So these catch cans always bring these mounting brackets right here. So it has two screws and then you can adjust it like any way you want. You can clock it any way you want, I should say. If you unscrew it, as the tag says, fittings inside. The fittings are right in here. And these fittings basically just screw into here and connect your hoses and you're good to go. Basically what I'm gonna do is mount this up and I'm not gonna be using the provided fittings. And I'll explain that in a little bit. But I wanted to mount this, but I had nowhere to mount it to. And I got online and I looked up and there's a company called Billet Technology, I'm pretty sure. But basically they have their own catch can for this car. But Mishimoto is a sponsor and they make quality products. These are proven. So I wanted to use a Mishimoto catch can. So what I did was I went on the Billet Technologies website and I bought their bracket. This is a Billet bracket. And basically we're gonna mount our catch can basically these two mount onto the car, right? And then this one will mount back here and then everything will be nice and secure. So basically to start off, you wanna take your engine cover off, and set it to the side. And the PCV valve is located right there, right here, what I'm touching right here. So this is the PCV valve. This hose right here is what you're gonna take off and it runs through the back of the motor back down here and into our air box right here. So we're gonna take it off from here as well. And then we are going to figure out the hose situation. So that one pops out right there. And then this one should pop out as well. All right guys, so after some tugging and pulling, the hose comes off, but it is a lot shorter than what I thought. So it comes out through there where I had said, but it goes in to the back of the upper part of the plenum back in there. So 
this has nothing to do with it and it makes sense because this is like super clean like no oil residual anywhere whereas this hose it is gunky in there and in there like if I pop off this right here if I can do it with one hand as you can see it is nasty in there and in there so it makes sense that this is what I need to replace so I guess I have to go from here where the catch can will be so two hoses will be going that way I thought one would be going that way and one would be going this way into here but I guess we can put this back in because this is not what we were after so now that we got that squared away we are gonna be using the rubber ends on the PCB hose so this plastic part we're not gonna use but we are gonna use these. I'm gonna go ahead right now and install the catch can right here. I'm gonna install the bracket first and then I have to see how I can install the actual catch can to the bracket because we are using a Billet Technologies mounting kit with a Mishimoto catch can. So it's kinda like, we're basically doing it on our own here. All right, so we have the Billet Technologies bracket installed. Basically, you take these two little clips off of here, and then you put the bracket on, and you use the bolts provided with their kit. Now the issue is that we have a giant hole right here to hold the Billet Technologies catch can, and then the Mishimoto one has two holes right here, and obviously, this right here is not gonna work. So what I have to do now is I am going to drill a hole in between these two holes and then just keep going bigger and bigger and bigger until I have a big enough hole to fit a bolt through here that will go in through that hole right there as well. And then we should be able to just put the bolt in, put the nut down and tighten it down and we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and start drilling this thing. Okay, so we got our catch can mounted up right there. The kit you can get from Billet Technologies will give you some hoses and two of these barb fittings. So what these do is one end fits in the hose right here and the other end will fit into these little rubber adapters that are on the stock hose. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna route the lines. I think I'm gonna follow this wire loom right here I think it's why no it's not wire it's the hose okay so I'm gonna follow this hose right here all the way back and then both of my hoses will go right there with that one and they'll go to where they need to go in there so like I said the uh, Mishimoto catch can brought those two straight fittings they are too small for this hose so what I did was I ordered some 3 8 inch NPT to dash 8 an fittings right here I got two of those and I ordered those from anhosefittings.com so I'll link them in the description they have a lifetime warranty they're really good I've used them before so I'm gonna go with that and then for the uh, an fittings themselves I have some that I've had here laying around the garage so I have a straight one I have a 90 and I have a 45 I'm gonna see I also have like a 180 and all that in the garage but I'm not gonna use that obviously I have to see which one of these I'm gonna use or which two of these I'm gonna use and I got these these are evil energy they are from Amazon they're really nice quality as well I've used 
these multiple times. Like I said, these are spares that I've had here in the garage because I like keeping stuff handy for jobs like these. So I'll link these in the description as well. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these two uh, 3 8 to dash eight NPT fittings on the catch can. And then we will figure out how we're gonna run the uh, hoses to their locations. All right, so as you guys just saw, I was struggling to figure out how to orient these lines, but I think this is how I'm gonna leave it. So it's gonna sit like that. This one's gonna go straight in. This one's gonna come out and 90 this way. That way they'll both meet right here and they'll run together all the way to the back. I got the hoses ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook them up and then I'm gonna leave them right here and then I'll, I'll basically route them here and then I'll cut them in order to fit into the fittings right here. All right, guys, and just like that, we are already done with this install. We got the hoses hooked up in their places right there. We got one down here and one that goes to the back top corner of the intake right there. So just feel around. It is a little bit of a struggle, but it's not that hard. Like I fought with it for like all of like four minutes. So it's not horrible. Just make sure it goes all the way in. Once you think it's all the way in, feel around the very end of it to make sure it's hitting all the edges of the intake and then you're good to go same thing with that bottom one right there and then i routed them right here i have it zip tied right there zip tied right here and then they come in this is the in which comes off of this bottom one so it comes in it baffles in here catches all the oil and then fresh air just comes out right here and into the manifold so as long as you have everything you need it is a super simple process. Like I said, the billet technologies kit brought the bracket right here. It brought the bolts for the bracket. It brought the hoses that I cut to length. And then it also brought the barb fittings to go from the adapter from the stock line to those rubber like fittings that it has at the end. I don't know what you guys want to call them. But yeah, I brought those barbs. So it, it literally brought everything you need. All you have to put down is your own catch can. Like I said, I love Mishimoto products. So I decided to go with the Mishimoto one. Of course, I went with the Rockstar collab one. But yeah, it's super simple. Like I said, it does have a fitting right here where I can just install a drain. So I can literally put like a ball valve at the bottom of this and run a hose straight down. And then I can literally just turn it right here and it'll go down, but I didn't want to go through the hassle. So every time I do an oil change, all I have to do is unscrew it right here, like this. 
and then all the oil will be down there. I dump it out when I do an oil change and then just screw it back on and I am good to go. By the way, if you can see right there and right here, I did put some Teflon tape on the fitting only because it's NPT on AN fittings. You don't need anything. That's why I didn't use anything. I just literally screwed it on and we're good to go. So now the only thing left to do is to start it and make sure there are no issues. So let's go ahead and start it real quick. No weird noises. I'm sure once I start moving, like I said, the air and oil will come here, the oil will get trapped in here, and it'll just be air going back into the plenum. So it won't take my valves, my runners, none of that. It'll just be clean. So like I said, I'm gonna try to leave Amazon links to hopefully everything in the description below so that you guys can go ahead and buy everything. It's a super simple mod and there's so many benefits to it. I highly recommend you doing it. I have one in my other cars as well. I have about a thousand miles since I last did the oil change. So we got about 4,000 miles more to go. So hopefully in 4,000 miles, I'll show you guys what I got from the catch can and I mean, hopefully it's doing its job, right? So that's gonna do it for this one, guys. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content. But it's time for me to get off your screen. So as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.